All right. So when we're scouting for spider mites, when you first enter the field, you'll probably see some of the worst plants. This is an example of what bad spider mite damage will look like. You look at the bottom leaves first, and then you look at the back side of the leaf, you'll see that there's a lot of fuzzy, um, webbing-like stuff here. This leaf has been completely sucked dry almost. And then the spider mites will move up the plant, and you'll see on these leaves here, we're starting to see some of those same splotches and that same webbing starting on the back. When we see that above the ear, that's going to cause us concern. Um, but on the edge of the field, we'll see that quite commonly. We need to go into the field to see if they've moved into the field a ways too. So let's go into the field. At this point we've kind of moved into the field not a terrible long ways but we see also some severe webbing above the ear on this top leaves. Um, that's When we see a lot of that or even when we start to see that I think we need to be looking at applying some insecticide to control them. The other thing you want to look at probably is how far the corn is, how far developed the corn ear is. In this case we're, we're at probably half to three quarters dent. So we've got to try to keep that corn plant to have healthy leaves above so we can fill that ear and get better test weight. At what point do we have to not worry about spraying for spider mites? Well that's a little bit of debate but if we're looking at silage we have a pre-harvest interval to con be concerned with. Typically it's about 21 days so we probably wouldn't spray a field that there was this developed because of that pre-harvest interval. If the corn is going to grain, um, I think we're going to want to be concerned about it until probably half milk line, although a lot of people are unsure of where that timing is. But since we have such a high value of corn, $8 a bushel, and our cost of treatment is under three bushels of grain, um, I would be quite concerned about it until probably about half milk line. Okay. So farmers want to go scout their fields, they need to walk in how far into the field? Oh, need to get out of the end rows, maybe 20, 24 rows in and need to see, you know, look for the speckling on the leaves, especially above the ear leaf. If they see a lot of problems on the lower plant and they're starting to see it on the on top ends of the plant, they need to give us a call. Sounds good. So here we're in a field that's maybe not quite as infested, but still probably needs to be treated. Uh, you can see these bottom leaves are speckled some and then when we look above the ear leaf, which here's the ear, we take the ear leaf and you can see there's a colony, colony starting right here. You can see a little bit of the speckling and then some of the webbing. It hasn't completely enveloped the leaf but it's starting there. And the next leaf above it looks pretty clean except for one little spot here. But we want to try to protect this top half of the plant that's bringing sugars down to the ear. So. When we see colonies up here, we need to be proactive and try to knock them out with some insecticide. 